everyone, welcome to the new video. I'm gonna show you the new 10 tweaks which are working extremely well on iOS 14.2 on my iPhone 10, which is jailbroken with check crane. So let's get into it. So the first tweak I wanna talk about is called Audio Mix. It's a free tweak and does something pretty awesome. So you can play two music apps or to any apps that that uh, uh, reproduce music or any sounds and they can do it at the same time so you enable it you can reduce the first audio or you can even select some of the apps for which you you don't want this tweak to work so you can open simultaneously i don't know let's say youtube so let's play youtube i have a premium account and also i have circube here so when you Play. So you can see the video, I can, we can still hear it and then you can play something else on your device, whatever you want to do. As you can see, you can hear both, both sounds. So it's pretty cool if you need these things. The second one is BatSafe Pro, another free tweak to save your battery when you charge. You know, when you charge, sometimes it goes to overcharging. So in order to prevent that, you can set up maximum charge level. For example, the default one is 80% and you can leave it over the night so it won't go above 80% to save your battery. You will get a notification if you want and that's it. Very simple, straightforward tweak. So the big snooze tweak doesn't have any settings, but it reminds, it reminds me of a better alarm tweak. It's also paid tweak, 1.25 and uh, it will give you the big snooze button all over the screen when you need to be woken up in the morning by your clock, alarm clock. So let's see how it looks like. This is it. So you get all over the screen snooze button or stop button and this is pretty useful when you are very cranky in the morning you don't see well so this is a big snooze. CC counters is another free tweak, works awesomely on iOS 14.2 and jailbroken with check rain. So it gives you alarm ETA, tells you a timer ETA and it shows you when you last pressed each, each toggle in your control center and you can even, you can even change the uh, color of these things. So as you can see here, I have when I last changed the volume button as you can see and now it will change to this moment at this stage i last pressed this on 18th of november at 8 15 pm so it's you know additional information if you would like to know these things that's it eliza is another cool tweak for your battery icon and it's a free one it gives you the option to override low power mode colors and to override charging colors. So throughout the day, your battery here will change its color as the battery, you know, goes, battery level goes down. So it goes from uh, green to, you know, dark reddish so that, you know, it follows the battery discharge on your icon here. iBlock X is a paid tweak which helps you to you know regain some privacy and you can block certain contacts you can put them on whitelist sorry on blacklist you can select them but also you can select the whitelist those contacts which are not this reminds me of the old tweak i blacklist which was which was pretty awesome but that one had a lot of more features than this one so you can select the contact that you want to whose calls you want to ignore you can use touch id if you want to go inside of the of the app itself and you can even choose this custom sound for when the call is blocked so you can be aware of it and you can have you will see the status bar icon once this happens so you will not you will not get a call but you will see the icon there and you will know that somebody's call was blocked and this is the interface so it has like a separate app on its own where you will see those blocked calls and notifications uh, regarding those the next week is a free one for safari and it's called safari reader safari reader is a good addition to your uh, to your safari app you know when you want to increase the font of your uh, of your 
text that you are reading currently you need to go to, to this thing here and to increase it but with Safari Reader you can just double tap on the text let's say double tap here and it will increase you see so I'm increasing the text by double tapping so it's pretty cool and pretty useful for those of you who you know might need this feature to have uh, a bigger font so if you want to go back to the normal one you just need to refresh the page and you will come to the normal size Sakura is a paid tweak which uh, invokes and uh, changes the multitasking on your jailbroken iPhone. So you can select different apps which you want to access all the time in this way. And uh, I've selected few apps as you can see here. And here you can select how you can uh, uh, invoke or activate Sakura. So DD means double down, which is twice pressing volume button down. So I, when I press twice, as you can see, I can go to notes and it will uh, open the notes. I can go to check rain, it will open the check rain app. I can go to the settings and you know, you can scroll up and down and you can select how many apps. You can have many apps here on the, on the right hand side. So this is Sakura. Smart Notifications 2 is successor of Smart Notifications, a famous tweak where you can customize each app how you will get your notifications. You can enable custom sound, you can enable time frame when you don't want to receive notifications from certain app, you can customize volume level, you can have a LED flash for that certain app, etc. Also, you can swipe to clear all notifications. Uh, what is important here? You can snooze the notifications and you can, you know, have them collapsed completely so you can have the whole, uh, uh, whole notification presented on the lock screen snooze notifications you can just uh, have these notifications later on and many many other things you have fake notifications if you prefer where you will get a certain notification from a certain app and if you want to trick your friends so smart notifications is a paid week uh, two dollars but if you own the previous version you will have 50 percent off as uh, stated by the developer so pretty awesome tweak pretty useful tweak with uh, lots of customizations so volume mixer gives you the option to enable different volume, uh, different volume for different apps. So you can select multiple apps where, where you, for which you want to have separate volumes. And let's say, I don't know, Spotify and YouTube. And we can even have them connected to the audio mix. So you can, you know, mix two apps from the, uh, as done, as shown in my first tweak today. And you can, when I do this, let me open Spotify. So I will be able to see Spotify here and I will be able to see YouTube here. So I can, you know, what I can do, and you can see I can separately adjust volume for different apps and I can have even more apps. You get the picture, you get separate, separate volume HUD for different apps and it stays that all the way. So thank you guys for watching this video. Great, amazing 10 tweaks working on iOS 14.2 uh, on my iPhone 10 jailbroken with the latest check rate.